Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to Jigimix. So in this video, I am going to talk about how can you solve the NAT numerical answer type questions in IIT exam chemistry examination. The 20 questions over there and in the 20 questions, you will uh, you are going to face at least 10 into 1 that means 10 questions with 1 marks and 20, 10 questions with 2 marks. That means uh, 30 marks you are going to have from NAT type questions. So these are very, very, very important questions. But one thing is important that NAT type questions are not that much tough as MSQ, MSQ type questions. Also, these questions doesn't have any uh, kind of negative marking. Okay, so uh, you can easily answer these questions by solving the mathematics. So what kind of mistakes you are going to do in the examination? Okay, that you should avoid. And what, how can you solve all those questions? These are uh, the things that are, I am going to uh, discuss uh, in these videos. Okay, so let's have a look about the mistakes. Okay, so the first mistakes, unique unit conversion. So you will do a lot of mistakes in your unit conversion. Let, let me take an example like suppose delta G, you have to, ha there is a question like from thermodynamics, the numericals, and you have to uh, use the equation like delta H equals to delta E plus delta n there is the uh, uh, stoichiometric coefficient difference reactor from uh, by product and reactant okay and rt delta h equals to delta e plus delta n rt in the in these questions what will happen they are uh, they are telling you to telling you to calculate delta h and they have already given you delta e value and delta n value you will get from the equation corresponding equation what will be given r that will be read back uh, molar gas constant that you will get okay and t that will be given so there will be problem like delta you will you will not be quite sure about that but delta e will be given in kilojoule per mole and you will be sure thinking that as yes, delta delta is given i know delta n i can easily calculate t is given i r i know then you will do the calculations and your answer will be quite wrong why because the, what you know that the r value if you are putting 8.314 joule that is in joule and the delta e value that is in kilojoule okay so joule kilojoule you cannot mix up them so that's why you have to con uh, convert this kilojoule to joule then you are doing to have you have to do the uh, calculation total and then you will get another answer that will be in joule joule per mole the delta h value but the option they are asking that calculate the delta h value in kilojoule per mole so then you have to uh, convert the joule value into kilojoule again Okay, so you have to be quite sure about that, what you are doing. Because this kind of things you will you are going to face and that kind of things I have, I have also faced and sometimes I have done mistakes, sometimes I uh, I can overcome them. Okay, so I have done all of the, all those things. Actually, I have been, I have, I, I already have a lot of experience regarding the same, okay, the mistakes. The second mistakes, that is another important mistakes. If, if you are solving some kind of questions, then let's have a look at chemical kinetics questions. So they generally using the first order equations, first order chemical kinetics equation, what questions like uh, the initially the concentration was that, okay, and the final concentration of reactant reaches to, reaches to, remember this one, reaches to this. That means the final concentration of reactant reaches to this or like the final concentration of reactant reaches to 20% of the initial concentration. You are taking the point reaches to okay that means reaches to 20 percent that means 20 percent may pause gabo okay that is in the 20 percent so 20 percent multiplied by initial concentration that will be the concentration at time t okay so this what two okay or reaches 20 percent of the or uh, decreases the concentration 20 percent okay this decreases and reaches two okay this words are different so i have done uh, one mistake in jam 2018 examination and i knew the answer but i i don't know why i have done that mistake so actually a lot of things but i don't want that you are do you will also do the same kind of mistakes okay so don't do that so be quite sure about that so these two mistakes are very famous and especially num from numerical type questions you are going to face a lot of questions from you know physical chemistry and physical chemistry numericals so just do practice a lot of numericals and if you haven't practiced a lot of numericals you can also have a lot of numericals at least 173 only numericals if you if you want to do if you want to solve 173 different kind of numericals from different chapters all the chapters in from iit jump chemistry physical chemistry you can just have a look in the description you can go to easychemics.com go to physical chemistry study material and then go to 
only numerical part okay and if you get that numerical part there will be you can easily access all those questions all those numericals already 60 16 days left so if you are not if you are thinking that you don't want to do any mistakes you are you have to practice a lot of questions okay and what mistakes i am telling you that you have to ignore okay so you have to uh, overcome all those things okay and that's why practicing is very much more important okay so that's why if you are interested quite enough in that uh, in the in, in practicing all those things then you have to check the uh, all the numericals in easychemics.com okay otherwise you can just visit in the description and i will be providing you the direct link of that numericals okay so just check out that and of course uh, by providing like 150 rupees you can uh, solve a lot of 173 numericals and of course there is offer of course 20 percent discount and that's why i'm telling you that it's 150 or 200 like that i don't i forgot actually whatever so this kind of things you, have, you can ignore and uh, if you don't if you, sometimes what happens generally in the numerical type questions in a team kya hota hai kabhi kabhi organic or inorganic questions bhi aajate likely to be give me let me give an example which of the, for, uh, the okay, uh, give the numbers which will have the R configuration so they will provide you five structures and then they will provide uh, they will ask you the, uh, in five struck in this five structures which will have or the number of compounds those are those will have uh, R configuration so suppose three structures will have uh, config uh, R configuration so have the answer will be three so these kind of questions you are going to face okay and there will be some basic questions like uh, class 11 12 basic questions so those you cannot uh, you know ignore okay because uh, class 11 12 things like you, if you are quite uh, good in class 11 12 if you are quite good then also it will be very helpful for you okay because basic concepts are some kind of things you can face from class 11 12 also and uh, numerical type questions is like that it's not like msq type questions as i have told you because these questions are quite like mcq questions and you just have to find the answer then uh, in the mcq questions what you need to do you just take the right answer and in the MSQ questions, what you need to do, you just put the value. So another thing you have to remember that is, uh, if you are solving NAT questions, then you will get some in instructions that uh, took the uh, two decimal places after the decimal. Okay, so you have to uh, round up all those things. Okay, so, uh, likely to be 2.386. Uh, that means 2.39 okay but if you put 2.38 also then also your answer is correct because they will give you a range in that range and that that range is quite weak okay so in that range if your answer is then you will get full marks okay so don't, don't worry about that that you will not if you're putting 3.38 or 3.39 then then also you will get full marks okay and they will give a big range okay so in that range if you your answer is in that range then you will get full marks so remember this information and these things okay and to practice all those because i have told you what you need to do if you want to join the easy chemics uh, mock test okay you about to solve more than 1000 or likely to be 1500 questions okay then you can join the easy chemics uh, of course mock test series okay so everything you will be getting in the description below or visit easychemics.com to get all the information so, okay just visit the homepage and you will get every link you can go there and also you can ask me on the whatsapp or a call okay after going to easychemics.com you will get whatsapp link you will get mobile number link everything in that website okay so that's all about this video i hope this video will help you a lot and thank you thanks for watching